How does a writer know the beginning of their story? So the beginning is a very difficult time as Dune, the movie begins, which David Lynch made. He hates the movie, but there's a great quote in the beginning. I think she says, oh no, she says, the beginning is a very delicate time. So the beginning of a story is the most important part, I think. Um, the first 15 minutes, like any issues you have in your story, it's all gonna eventually work back to the first 15, 10 minutes of your story. It really is a difficult time. Um, I think it's, um, when you first write your story, chances are you're gonna rewrite the beginning. So, cause you're gonna get into some sort of a structural mess at some point, you're gonna to have to rearrange things and adjust it and come back to the beginning. Um, normally, the beginning is later than you think. So, you know, you may think your story begins here and you start writing it and then you're like, oh, but actually my story begins much later than that. That's often the case in, in first time, first drafts, you know, you write your first draft and it's like, you think your story begins way back in Arkansas, but actually begins when they arrived in New York. You know, you don't need the whole Arkansas stuff. You just need the guy arriving in New York. So stories, I think the beginning, so if that's what you mean by how does a writer know the beginning of their story, um, you may think your beginning is there, but it might not be by the time you get to the rewrite and you'll probably rewrite your beginning more than anything else. Unfortunately, people actually write their beginning more because that's where they start when they open the document. It's like at the beginning, which is a problem. You should actually rewrite your middle and end as much as you rewrite your beginning, but your beginning will change as you write because it's, that's where you're setting up everything. That's where you're setting up, like, you know, that's for me is like, if your story is an arrow flying through the sky, this is the pullback on the bow, you know? And it's as far as you pull back and it's where you aim. And then by the time you get into your second act or you know, even halfway through your first act, you let go. So that's a very important moment, the beginning. And how does a writer know where their beginning is? They, you probably don't until you're getting into the rewriting process and then you change where you begin almost more, than, more often than not. When you rewrite, are you rewriting from the very beginning or are you going back to where you sort of, like how are you breaking up the rewriting? So I probably do go back to the beginning a lot. Um, but I try not to. It, it just seems to be the way things happen. So your first 15 pages are fantastic. And then the rest, you kind of tend to forget about. Um, the beginning and the end are the most important. So for me, the biggest question someone can ask themselves is, what do I want the audience to feel when they leave the cinema? The moment they leave the cinema, you know, that last frame. When the last frame comes up and it finishes, what do I want the audience to feel at that point? And in the rewrite process, I go back and I look at everything and say, does that serve that feeling, that emotion at the end? If not, I need to change something. It might be in the beginning, it might be in the middle, it might be at the end where you have to change that, that thing. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that answers the question, but that question is, that's questions in my mind all the time. What do I want the audience to feel when they leave the cinema? And does the scene serve that? If not, do I need it? Can I change it? Can I toss it? So then, yeah, I guess when I rewrite, I rewrite from all over the place, but um, the beginning, is so vital that you'll end up rewriting that a lot, yeah. Do you feel like people really neglect rewriting the middle? Yeah. And, and so. so a lot of problems happen because yep. of that? Mm. Definitely. Interesting. I think, look, you know, the middle, the second act problems, is like, it's like a cliche. Um, I think that, that is a, that's a result of just structure and just that it's, a, it's, it's like a, a tent pole, you know, because you got your beginning, awesome. You know, you know it's gonna end fine. Middle, eh, not so sure. So it is, it's a nature of the feature film beast, if we're talking about feature films, that the middle is gonna be difficult. Um, but I do think people end up not writing that, just because it, from the simplest reasons, you open up your document and it's gonna open up on the first page and you're gonna rewrite. And then I find like, even the craftness of, so if the structure doesn't change much, the dialogue doesn't change much, the craft of the script itself, in terms of the words used and the, sp the sp sparsity, sparsity of the words used and the precision of the words used is often better in the beginning and then <laughs> you get halfway and it just becomes messy. So yeah, I would actually encourage people to not do what I do, but to start when you do your rewrite, try and discipline yourself to, I am only rewriting from scene 12 today and then I'm only rewriting from scene 26 because you know, to make sure that you pay as much attention to that as you can. But yeah, it's a standard error, I guess. I've seen it a lot.